Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks Pack, pardon my breakfast on the edge of the shot there. Today we are double dipping on Jumpstart, because why not? Typically, I would not advise going right back to a set after getting a Mythic pull from it, but you know what? I'm feeling a little different today, I'm feeling a little feeling a little different kind of pep in my step. So we're going to try it. As you know, there are themed packs in Jumpstart. They contain a few cards and some basic lands that you can throw together into a deck. There are common themes, rare themes, and mythic themes, which each differ in the number of variations there can be on the pack's contents. Let's see what we got today. Today's reveal is going to be a quick and dirty one. We got today, we've got a reanimated pack. Reanimated can give you some fun stuff sometimes. I have gotten a reanimated pack before, and sometimes the results are delightful. Let's see if we get, let's see if this will uh, reanimate our spirits today. I think this is a common theme. I think, uh, but we had success with a common theme yesterday, so you never know. It's kind of hard to, kind of hard to separate out this shrink wrap sometimes. It doesn't, doesn't fully... There's like a little tab where you pull it all the way around and uh, and it does its thing. So let's see. We got the reanimated pack. We got the Grave Waker. That's not very exciting. Grave Waker is a card that sucks. It's a black black four, a 5-5 five, five bird spirit with flying. I seem to recall this from Corset 2019, uh, but it may be even older than that also. And for black black plus five, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Tapped. Seven mana. Doesn't even come in untapped. Big yikes, but we got another rare here. Uh, the Scourge of Neltoth. Black, black, five. A six, six zombie dragon. Now there's a type for you. It's got flying. You may cast Scourge of Neltoth from your graveyard by paying two black and sacrificing two creatures rather than paying its mana cost. Now that sounds more like it. We did get two rares in the pack. That's pretty cool. But I don't think none of them, neither of them are terribly inspiring. And as we get through to the rest of the uh, contents, I think that is going to continue to be the case. Uh, although this is a pretty cool enchantment. Enchantments are definitely my style of play. Uh, and this right here, this zombie infestation, all you got to do, discard two cards, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. That's not, not a terrible cost to create a zombie with a decent body. Gormand, they throw this in as many black jumpstart packs as they can. These things are a dime a dozen. Eliminate. Don't get eliminated. Remember that show? God, that that is not... MXC is not holding up in 2021. That's for dang sure. Destroy target creature or planeswalker with converted mana cost. Three or less. Ha <laughs> ha! Hear that? Uh, eliminates coming for you, Oko. Crypt Lurker. Enters battlefield. You may sacrifice or discard a creature card. If you do, draw a card. Rise again. Uh, I don't think this pack has much chance of rising again after two... Uh, somewhat weak rares there. Although, I will say I do like the flavor of the zombie dragon, but I don't think he's that crazy in terms of value. When it dies, mill two cards. Exhume. Each player puts a creature card from their graveyard onto the battlefield. See, for a sorcery for two, you can put a... The Exhume can do more for you than a Grave Waker can. Grave Waker just sucks so bad. Oh my god. Funeral Rites, and then I think we're almost a Miasmic Mummy. Boy, that thing... That, that is that is quite the burp you got coming out of your mouth there. Uh, did you win the hot dog eating contest, Mr. Miasmic Mummy? Each player discards a card when it enters the battlefield. And we got the Thriving Moor. Uh, thriving. The little got a, got a little rainbow creek there. Despite its swampiness, it appears to be thriving. And we got our our nice little uh, of a basic our unique basic land here, which is. Uh, few zombies rising up in front of this little cottage nice little sunset i like this one this one's got some this one's definitely got some flavor to it and then from there on out it's all swamps so if we had taken the two packs we got yesterday and today we'd have a little uh reanimated spell casting going on uh not much in the well maybe some in the way of creatures but if we were to put the two packs together we would have uh, an interesting little rakdos deck going there but yeah not a great pack Despite the fact that there are two rares in it, uh, Grave Waker sucks a lot. I'm not going to put too fine a point on that. And Scourge of Neltoth, I've never seen it before, but I can't imagine it's terribly thrilling. So there you go, kids. Practice what you preach. Don't buy two of the same pack back to back. Learn from Uncle Roundy. 
do as he says, not as he does. We'll see you guys next time.